Question number 9. The complex number 1 plus 2i is denoted by u. It is given that u is a root of 2x cubed minus x squared plus 4x plus k equals to 0 where k is a constant. Showing all working and without using a calculator, find the value of k. So, 2, 1 plus 2i cubed minus 1 plus 2i squared plus 4 1 plus 2i plus k equals to 0. So you expand 1 plus 2i cube and you will get you will get minus 22 minus 4i here you will get this is after multiplying 1 plus 2i cube with 2 minus 3 sorry plus 3 which I got minus say minus 4i over here you will get 4 plus 8i plus k equals to 0 minus 4i minus 4i minus 8i plus 8i 0 minus 22 and 3 uh, minus 19 minus 19 plus 4 minus 15 so minus 15 plus k equals to 0 and k equals to 15 so part 1 is done showing all working and without using a calculator find the other two roots of this equation okay so if one root is 1 plus 2i the second root is second root is 1 minus 2i because uh, complex root complex root complex roots are always in conjugate pairs and then you find this quadratic factor to find the uh, real uh, root of uh, the quadra uh, the cubic function so to find the uh, quadratic fun uh, to find the quadratic equation uh, when you have two complex roots two complex roots the formula for that is x squared minus sum of roots times x plus the product of the two roots so the quadratic function will be x squared minus 1 plus 2i plus 1 minus 2i x 2i minus 2i and then 1 minus 2i 1 plus 2i so the quadratic equation is x squared minus 2x 1 minus 2i 1 plus 2i a squared minus a squared minus b squared this would be plus 5 because i squared is minus 1 so minus 4 times minus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 5 so this is our quadratic function now you divide your cubic with this uh, with x squared minus 2x plus 5 your cubic is 2x cube minus x square plus 4x plus 15 so x square minus 2x plus 5 so first multiply it with 2x so this would become 2x cube minus 4x squared plus 10x my change of signs and we get 3x squared minus 6x plus 15 now you multiply the equation by 3 so this becomes 3x squared minus 6x plus 15 change of signs and 0 so your other two roots are 1 minus 2i and minus 
3 upon 2. So these are your other two rules. Okay, so part 2. On an organ diagram, sketch the locus of points representing complex number z satisfying the equation z minus u equals to 1. Determine the least value of argument z for points on this locus. Okay, so uh, this is um, a circle, right? So u was 1 plus 2i, right? So this is 1, this is i, this is 2i, where here we have 1, this is another point, this is another point on the circumference, this is 2, a rough sketch, this is another point, and we have 3i over here, this is another point. So we have four points of the circle. and you sketch right then determine the least value of argument z for points on this locus so argument z this means that from the origin to find the least value first we need to to find the least value of argument z we need to draw a tangent to the circle that's over here and this is the angle that we are looking for. So, so we draw this triangle. This is 90 degrees. This is 1. This is modulus of u. Let's call this x. So, x is modulus of u, and modulus of u is. 1 plus 2i so a squared plus b squared holding under root 1 plus 4 under root this is root 5 and if you find this angle we subtract it from pi by 2 to get our least value of the argument right so we use sine so let's call this alpha sine alpha equals to 1 upon root 5 alpha turns out to be 0 0.464 so your least argument for z becomes pi by 2 minus alpha uh, sorry not pi by 2 minus alpha sorry the argument of u minus alpha so tan inverse of 2 minus alpha because this over here is the entire argument and from this when we subtract this angle that we've called alpha we get our argument so so this is 0 0.643 so my mistake it wasn't pi by 2 minus alpha it was the argument of u um, minus alpha